Welcome to Cat and Raven and Signs. I'm a creature of the cold. And I, what? <laughs> Are you though? Yes, it's too damn hot in here. <laughs> I'm also a creature of the cold, and I'm Raven. And we're here to make soap. And uh, welcome to another episode of We Had Water Damage. So there is an air purifier and a dehumidifier, like giant ones, running in a sealed off room nearby. So sorry if you can hear it. I don't know. I haven't edited any of the videos where you can hear it yet. So I don't know. I.e. last night's. Yeah. And <laughs> today's too. Yeah. Uh, so if you can hear it, apologies. There was water damage on our house. The restoration team is supposed to be here tomorrow so that maybe they can start trying to work. I don't know. Anyway, we're making soap and it's Victorian inspired. And this one is called Take a Stroll. And it's going to be inspired by all the different videos and books and things like that where the two main characters take a stroll through the flowers and the gardens and it's pretty and they're usually sassy and I love it. I know which sassy ones you're talking about. All of them. Pride and Prejudice, like all of it. I've tried to read Pride and Prejudice. I've tried so many times. You watch the movie. I own the book. The most recent one with Keira Knightley is pretty good. I have not bothered trying because I couldn't read the book. Watch the movie with me. I love Pride and Prejudice. There's also Bride and Prejudice, which is set in India. Also excellent. Okay. So, I know Lord Unicorn that we just did was a floral, which you would think we would do here, given that this is flower-based. But it just, I needed like a bakery scent in this collection. We just didn't have a bakery scent, and I needed one. So our bakery scent is Creme Brulee from Candle Science. Again, not sponsored, but they're sort of our new fragrance bay. <laughs> we love them. Uh, it smells delicious. Yes. It so smells. dang good. Uh, it also discolors, so... Probably. That's another reason why we didn't use this on Lord Unicorn, because Lord Unicorn was going to be pastel. This is going to have a lot of browns. So I don't care. So I'll talk about the colors as we get going. I'm going to go ahead and start by weighing out our lie. I have glitter all over my arms. I'm shocked. And my chest. Just shocked. However could something like that happen to you? I don't know. How could it? Oh, it's a mystery. So this is our base with oils and lye and distilled water. And I need to add some sodium lactate real quick. Okay. Let's give her a blend. All right, there's our big old base boy. First color up is going to be dark brown oxide. I do a pretty good amount in there. Next up is going to be a combination of New Leaf Green and Green Vibrance. Do not quite as much on that one. Now, final color is going to be our base color, which is Magic Mushroom. I'm going to be pouring this one back into the big bucket in just a moment here. Let's get it started. All right, so we already know this is gonna discolor to a dark brown, and uh, I just don't feel like fighting that. We don't normally do that. Normally we try to do a, a nail color stabilizer, but I think this time I'm just gonna let it do it. Just do your thing. This fragrance is behaving spectacularly. 10 out of 10. Way better than um, Lord Unicorns. <laughs> Lord Unicorns, fussy. What else would you expect from a Lord? That's true, excellent point. Especially an unwed lord who's got the mamas <laughs> going after him like sharks after blood in the water. <laughs> All right, let's give these a blend. Start with my green, work my way up. Oh, we are staying liquid. Tell me it's a well-behaved fragrance oil without telling me that it's a well-behaved fragrance oil. <laughs> oh, it looks so chocolatey. It looks real chocolatey. Like pooting. It looks like duck chocolate. You know what other Victorian thing I've really been digging lately? Hmm. Gentleman Jack. I love Gentleman Jack. Mm, so good. So good. Oh. <laughs> like everything about it. Just the intro. Like normally when we're watching a show, we skip the intro. We never skip the intro on Gentleman Jack. Never. Oh, it's delicious. Like, usually with the intro, we'll watch it once and then skip it the rest of the time. But not with Gentleman Jack. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I will watch that 
every time. So good. We watch the outro, too. Yeah, we watch everything. <laughs> it's just really good. <laughs> Ann Lister is a really interesting character. And uh, her actress. Huh. Oh. Huh. Every time she breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> Look, if your heart don't flutter, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh my god, I love that poster. Not gonna lie, totally my type. <laughs> I mean, I, I I go with the she's my type as well, but I don't exactly have a type. I'm a slut. She'd have you. <laughs> They're all my type. As long as you are not a minor or an asshole. I do believe that's come up before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, there we go. And I think I'm going to give this just a brief twirly bob right there in the middle. I feel like those are like two fair, really solid rules to have. No assholes and no minors? Yes. I mean, that feels like a real good start to some rules. <laughs> okay, but see, no assholes encompasses a lot of different type of people. All right, let's get some poor porn. base is poured and ready to go. I uh, have some embeds to show off. And why yes, I did spend a bunch of time <laughs> hand piping these big old flowers. Hopefully that uh, mom, if you're watching, I hope this makes you proud. I will tell you it's a lot harder to pipe with soap than it is to pipe with regular frosting. Uh, I hope I did all right. I just want to fill the entire thing up with flowers. admit I briefly considered maybe trying to do these out of like melt and pour or soap dough but the longer I thought about it the more I was like nah nah I want them piped which maybe is not the best use of <laughs> being time efficient but I had a need and that need was for very specific looking flowers because that's how I wanted to go sometimes you just you just can't help it you just you have a specific thing you want to do and you just got to do it there is a part of me that wants to purchase some sculpey make a bunch of mold or make a bunch of like flowers and whatnot mm -hmm. so that we can make molds out of them <laughs> specifically ro little tiny roses so the next time i want little tiny roses on top of the soap i can have little tiny roses on top so oh man here was, was worried that i made too many flowers now i'm wondering if i didn't make enough and yeah they're gonna get chopped and that's okay okay so i know it looks like i've missed a lot but i have more plants so let me move this aside so give me just a moment and we're gonna cut to a quick ad break if there is one available for youtube and we'll be right back so now that we've got the main flowers placed i'm gonna go ahead and mix up some soap frosting I'm going to be doing it in a white and in a green. Uh, the white is just titanium dioxide and the green is going to be Savage Garden. And I'm going to have those in two separate bags. So just a moment here while I blend. But if you add it to and two, you'd figure out right quick. It's just because the girls will have a lad on every ship. And it's totally idy idy idy, totally idy idy. It's oftentimes a man will leave you broken with dismay. And it's totally idy idy idy, totally idy idy. There's other things to twiddle when the men have sailed away. What? I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> It's called Twiddles. I, I know. <laughs> it's about ladies diddling them. I know! <laughs> it's all about female empowerment. Sure. We don't need no man to get off. Right. <laughs> it's definitely, that's the main focus here. <laughs> There's literally a line in the song, like, that is essentially, hey, if you don't make us happy, or if you're not nice to us, uh, well, we can have our fun without you. <laughs> We don't need you. All right, let's blend this up. And now 
while we wait. <laughs> Welcome back. We have some frosting in a piping bag. I have an open tip here. We're going to start filling up some of the empty spaces in here. Sorry, it's hard to talk like this. So I'm trying to focus on getting all these little spaces filled up. It's not easy. Okay. So I think that's gonna be good enough for the white. So for the green, I have a leaf tip. I went for a relatively large one because I knew there was gonna be quite a few gaps. already envisioned what you had were talking about as being really pretty. Uh-huh. Oh, holy f you liking it? Yes. Yeah, I think I think that'll do. Alright. Add a little bit of like sparkle plenty to it. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it needs some, some <gasps> Woohoo! Y'all heard that! Heard what? That you <laughs> were going to say that it needed some What? I don't know what you're talking about. Notice how I, the glitter I suggested is a subtle one, too. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything, like, really colorful on this. But see what I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a good angle. <laughs> it looks good at that angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big old basket of flowers. Right? Oh, that's why it's struggling. Is it getting low? No. There's a lot in it. Okay. How's that? Ooh, she party. Wow, that looks really cool on camera. <laughs> Hold on, I wanna see. Right? <laughs> it's really pretty. Wow. All right. It looks kind of dewy. Yeah, I like that. It looks cool. All right, I'm gonna call that done. Okay, so with that, the top for Take a Stroll is looking done. Wow. <laughs> Can't wait to see how this looks as cut bars. So we're gonna let this do its thing for about eh, 24 hours. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes with the bakery scents, they need a little longer. They can be a little soft. So we'll see how it looks tomorrow. And uh, we will come back, cut them into loaves, cut them into bars, and see how we did. Welcome back. It smells really good. It does. It looks cool. It's not often that I'm a little like, oh, I don't want to cut it, but I, I do want to cut it, but I don't want to cut it. <laughs> the edges have definitely darkened up quite a bit already, and they also have some ashing, which I already treated. So let's give it a cut and let's see how we did on the inside. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hello. Check it out. Nice. Ooh, nice. It'll be interesting on that one to see like where all the green ends up because it looks like it's mostly at the ends based yeah. off the side. Yeah, we'll see. I'm also really curious to see when it's done discoloring, what it's gonna look like. Ooh, it's kind of got like this woodsy look to it. Living for it. Greg, bring that. Camera. All right, let's give this a cut. See how we did on these individual bars. Oh, oh, Greg, did you bite the soap? Yum. Oh, Greg bit the soap. Just a little bit, not too bad, but still. Why you bite, Greg? Why you bite? <laughs> Greg, why bite? No one authorized to bite. All right, let's grab a couple out of the middle here. Ooh, I like that striping there. Right. All right, we good? Yep. Ooh. Flowers on top. Very cool. Oh, it smells so good. I may need to switch to Vanya though. Greg, Greg's got the bitey fish right now. Yeah. Almost no green on that one. <laughs> I think you were right. So I switched out to Vanya. <laughs> Cause uh, Greg, uh, Greg has the bites. Jesus. David, what are you watching? Blacklist, like, Why is there so much screaming? Torture. 
D oh, okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Still um, almost no green. <laughs> um, <laughs> camera had a hard time focusing for a second because it wanted to, like, focus on your nails, but couldn't. Oh. Well, see, then down here at this, this other end of the loaf, there's some green. <laughs> <laughs> I think I called it. Oh, my gosh. Those swirls came out so pretty, though. Right? Ooh. Oh, still looks neat. You know, I was worried briefly there that these colors weren't going to work. But you know what? I like them. Well, and then for a minute there, you're like, I am terrified that they may have muddied. I mean, it kind of looked like maybe they would have, but this is cool. Yeah. I mean, granted, they are still going to discolor. I already know that the fragrance oil discolors, and I did nothing to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> At least intentionally, for once, did nothing to stop it. Nice. So I'm very curious to see how these look. As usual, if there is a lot of discoloration, I'll give you an update photo. Oh, there's a whole bunch of green in that one. Oh, nice. Lots of green. I'll put a, a photo up on camera now for how things are turning out by the time this video is getting edited. <laughs> Which will probably be pretty, pretty close to the end of the month. This is one of the uh, edge pieces, so it's probably going to have a lot of green. Yeah. Ooh. It kind of looks like a forest. That's pretty. Oh, here's another one with a lot of green. Look at that. That looks like a forest. Well, that's the fun part about doing this, is that you never really know what you're going to have. I wonder if that was one that was closest to where we started pouring, or the opposite end of where we started pouring. And here are the finished bars. Looking really kind of cool and interesting. It's not what I expected it to do, and I'm totally okay with that. And again, they smell so good. Oh, that bakery scent. So these are going to be available at the end of March. Let's see, this is the second to last video for this collection, I think. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I can't remember. But it'll be available at the end of March as part of our Victorian-inspired collection. Be on catandravendesigns.com. Generally, launches are on the last Friday of the month at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So set your reminders in your calendar, and we will see you for that launch. Otherwise, we have another video coming up for this collection, and... Uh, this is your usual hydration reminder from Soap Mom. Make sure you have some water, have some fuel if you need it. But hey, the big focus right now is water. And with that, we'll see you for another video. Bye, everybody.